Okay, let's check out the latest synth from Waves Audio. It's the Flow Motion FM synth. So, is it any good? Well, first and foremost, I can tell you it does not work in Adobe Audition. You'll need to use some music and MIDI sampling software to get this Flow Motion synth from Waves to work. So I'm using it in Logic Pro X. I've got my iKai keyboard here and I'm ready to jam a few keys and see what comes out of this synth. Oh, that's nice. It's sequencing through at the bottom, as you can see, as I push a key on my keyboard. Now, obviously, I can change this around. I can focus in on different sounds. There seem to be uh, four basic oscillators here and everything you'd expect from a synth. So you can select the shape of the wave. You can even have static noise as well generated. Lots of cool stuff there. Factory presets, let's go to basic and let's hit a key. Okay, so that's a very basic note, as you'd expect. Just a, a triangle wave and a square wave mixed together. You can change the shape, mix in a bit of noise, and get the sounds you're looking for. You can go through on these presets and get different things. So is it any good for sound design? Well, I discovered these presets towards the end. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I could definitely use that for some imaging. And there's this. Whoa. Okay, so I can do some pretty crazy stuff. One of my favorites was this kind of backwards kind of ramp up thing. Which you can kind of mess about with and you can change the shape. To make different tones. So lots of different options there, and of course you can go through here. You can kind of make a pew 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 pew, kind of like a uh, a shooting gun almost. So depending on the shape that you go for. Very very cool stuff. There we go, windy day. <laughs> and you can change the shapes around of the different oscillators to uh, to get the sound you want. And finally over here, uh, there's the full reset, which just gives you a kind of sine wave. This is the kind of thing you could do in Adobe Audition if you were generating tones, of course. So the Flow Motion FM synth from Waves, uh, first class, it seems like it has um, plenty of oscillators to play with. A sequencer down here to generate advanced stuff. You can change the shape of everything here uh, and add in different effects as well to change exactly how it's looking and drag the dots and all of that. So very easy to use, uh, nice and easy to see exactly what's going on. If you're playing with all the oscillators at once, you can kind of see how they're connecting together. And it will show you here with the dots, it will show you how the oscillators are all connecting together and making the different sounds that you might be using for your next greatest hit or just to create a few pieces of sound design. If you want to have a go, uh, when it's on sale, it's at a very reasonable price, and you can use my link, mrc.fm forward slash waves, for a further 10% off. That's mrc.fm slash waves. Enjoy the new Flow Motion FM synth from Waves.